اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم آئی سیک ریفیوز ود اللہ فرام دا شیطان دا سٹون بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ود دا نیم آف اللہ موسٹ گریشس موسٹ مرسفل السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز آف اللہ ٹو آل آف یو لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹلمین ویلکم ٹو ڈیز ٹاپک از واٹ القرآن سیز اباؤٹ الحکمہ دا وزڈم دس ٹاپک اسپیشلی آئی ہیو چوزن بیکاز موسٹلی پیپل ڈو ناٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دا ورڈ حکمہ ایز اٹ از یوز ان اردو لینگویج اینڈ اٹ از یوز ایز ڈپلوماسی ڈپلوماٹک اے پرسن شوڈ بی ڈپلوماٹک وائل یوزنگ دا ورڈ حکمہ دا ورڈ حکمہ ایف یو لک ایٹ دا ڈکشنری ان دا انگلش ڈکشنری آف دا translation translation is the wisdom wisdom what does it mean that people should understand what is the truth what is correct and just and who is a wise person is the person who understand what is right what is just and practice is a wise person in comparison to the word intelligent intelligent is a person who understand the right who has got the capability to understand what is just but he may not practice that is the difference between an intelligent person he's got a memory he can comprehend he can grasp but he doesn't not necessarily practice the person who is wise who understand what is right what is just he implements he believes in that and he practice that that is the person who is a wise person and the system is wisdom you must understand this is the meaning and you will li- listen to the ayahs of the quran that there are uh, verses related to what is wisdom what is hikma the word in arabic why have said that you must know the this difference between the word intelligent person who can comprehend understand what is right and what is just but he may not be practicing and have belief in that but he may use an argument to to certain people that this is right but he himself may not practice that's the difference then in the quran there are certain ayas which deals with the orders or the mahkamat ayats the hukum of allah the governance of ayat or the government of allah and these ayats concern certain rules and regulation the do's and the don'ts certain do's that you have to do certain things and there are certain things which you do not have to do you are forbidden to do that so these do's and the don'ts are many in the in the quranic ayahs i will not discuss today but in the ayahs there are there are certain do's and don'ts you'll come to know inshallah so that is hikma also referred as but there are other in the other part of the quran are events or the hadith narrations or even describe about ibrahim alayhi salam about musa alayhi salam about nuh alayhi salam etc other prophets and about the creation of the universe and the galaxies or the earth everything that is events described in the quran so there are two aspects of the quranic ayahs which contains the do's and the don'ts which are related to our topic and there are other ayahs that describe the events so mostly we will be focusing on the do's and the don'ts which describe what we have to do and what we are forbidden of these are the ahkamat or the muhkamat meaning governing ayahs by those governing ayahs we have to govern ourselves we have to govern our psyche by those governing ayahs then that is known as hikma now i will be reading certain ayahs which will contain the word hikma itself the wisdom that will contain it in the ayahs the word hikma the wisdom <clears throat> so if you open to the page the first ayah is surah ali imran 
3 uh, Imran 3 and I 81 <clears throat> وَإِذَا خَذَ اللَّهُ مِيثَاقَ النَّبِيِّينَ لَمَا آتَيْتُكُمْ مِنْ كِتَابٍ وَحِكْمَةٍ ثُمَّ جَاءَكُمْ رَسُولٌ مُصَدِّقٌ لِمَا مَعْكُمْ لَتُؤْمِنُنَّ بِهِ وَلَتَنْصُرُنَّهِ قَالَ أَقْرَرْتُمْ وَأَخَذْتُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكُمْ إِصْرِي قَالُوا أَقْرَرْنَا قَالَ فَاشْهَدُوا وَأَنَا مَعْكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ and when Allah took a covenant from the prophets that I have given you from a book and hikmah, the wisdom, then comes to you a messenger confirming that is with you. Definitely you will believe with him and definitely you will help him. He said, that is Allah, do you agree? On that, do you take my Lord, my Lord, on you they said we agree he said so you bear witness I am from those who bear witness with you <clears throat> in this ayah in the first portion of an ayah you will note the word Nabiyin has occurred Nabiyin is a plural of Nabi that is prophets and we know from Nuh to Isa all these are the prophets and Muhammad وسلم, is the seal of the prophets he is the Rasulullah messenger of Allah and a seal of the prophets so in this ayah you will note that the mithat or the covenant is taken by the prophets so and you further see lama adidu min kitabim wa hikmah that there comes, uh, sorry, that I have given you a book and hikmah that Allah has given to the prophets the book and the hikmah, the wisdom. From the, I will uh, read in detail, but you must understand that the prophets, all the prophets, as Muhammad sallallahu alaihi as the seed of the prophets, were, were given the book and hikmah, the wisdom. So we understand what is the book. This book, I this book we have got. But what is the hikmah that was given to all the prophets that we are going to discuss? This is the book. The book is this. The book was given to the prophets. And what is the wisdom that was given to all the prophets? That is the topic. So first of all, I just want to remind you because most of the people know few names of the prophet when I say prophets so you must understand what are those prophets as mentioned in the Quran I will just read them you can check up in the Quran there are names in the Quran maybe above 25 or 26 names and among those names there are certain names we, which are referred as prophets and there are certain referred as messengers and there's certain names that are not mentioned as prophets and messengers, like for example, Adam alayhi salam. Adam alayhi salam is not referred as a prophet, neither a messenger. He's Adam, rep representing mankind. So I will just give you the names that uh, just you can hear them out because you must understand when Allah said that we, uh, Allah gave the prophets, the book and the wisdom, what are the names? For example, Ibrahim alayhi salam, peace be upon him, is one of the names he was given the book and the wisdom. Then there is Ishaq, he was given the book, peace be upon him, and the wisdom. Yaqub alayhi salam, he was given the book and the wisdom. Nuh alayhi salam was given the book and the wisdom. Dawood alayhi salam was given the book and the wisdom. Suleiman, Suleiman alayhi salam, Peace be upon him, was given the book and the wisdom. Ayyub al -Islam, the book and the wisdom. Yusuf al -Islam, the book and the wisdom. Yusuf al -Islam, Musa al -Islam, the book and the wisdom. Harun al -Islam, his brother, the book and the wisdom. Zakaria al -Islam, peace be upon him, the book and the wisdom. Yahya al -Islam, the book and the wisdom. Isa al -Islam, Ilyas al -Islam, Ismail al -Islam, Yasa al -Islam, Yunus al -Islam, Lut al -Islam, Idris al -Islam, these are the names 
mentioned in the Quran as prophets and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is referred as messenger or rasulullah as the seal of the prophets so these all were given the book and the wisdom the hikmah because if you read the ayah it says prophets in plural but you don't know what who are prophet just you just pass by you must know the names are mentioned and they are described in the quran these prophets that i named they are mentioned in the quran there are events recorded with uh, with them so they got the book and the wisdom <clears throat> all of them that i named then comes thumma jaakum rasulum musaddiqul lima ma'akum then to these prophets came comes a messenger confirming that is with you so these prophet had the book and the wisdom with them the messenger came to them confirming what is with them so this messenger is referred as muhammad rasulullah muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of allah here the word is rasulullah rasul in the arabic thumma jaakum rasulum musaddiq lima ma'akum then comes to them a messenger that confirms what is with them la tu'minunna bihi wa la tansurunna you will believe in him and you will help him you will believe in him and help him this messenger when comes and confirms what is with the prophets that the prophet had the book and the wisdom muhammad rasulullah the messenger came to them and confirm what is with them so allah says you believe in him and help him he said allah said do you agree and on that do you take my lord on you they said we agree he said so you bear witness and i am from those who bear witness with you so allah asked those prophets when messenger muhammad rasulullah came to them that you take my lord with them you agree to this that you will help him and you will help him and you will believe in him you believe in him and you will help him and you will take the lord what is the lord of the quranic ayats the messengers or the prophets take the lord of the message to deliver the message to mankind and that is the lord of allah given on the prophets so that they deliver the message and practice it so he asked them do you agree and do you take my lord on you so they said yes we agree so allah said you bear witness and i am also bearing witness that you make sure that the message is delivered to the mankind this was the taken a covenant from the prophets who were given the book and the wisdom so i just wanted to to uh, tell you from the beginning you come to know that all the prophets got the book and the wisdom what is the wisdom we'll come to know inshallah but i just want to tell you in this ayah that the prophets with the prophets the book and the wisdom is separately mentioned <clears throat> now i will read in the further pages there are two three ayahs which by name just i'm just going to read these ayahs just to say uh, signify or make a point that these names are mentioned the prophet's names are mentioned and the hikma the word is used for example these are just examples surah al-baqara 2 2 surah and 251 fa hazamuhum bi idnillah wa qatala dawud jalud wa atahu allah al-mulk wal hikma so they defeated them with the permission of allah and dawud kil jalud david kil jalud and allah gave him the kingdom and al hikma the wisdom to dawud alayhi salam so previously all the the only the prophets was mentioned here specifically allah says to dawud alayhi salam that he was given the hikma the wisdom then in the following ayat in uh, not the following but another surah in ayah az zukhruf i am reading this below zukhruf 43 ayah 63 ولما جاء جاء عيسى بالبينات قال قد جئتكم بالحكمه and when isa jesus came with clarifications he said without doubt i have come to you with hikma the wisdom and normally we muslims and non muslims 
and the propagation about, uh, by the Jews and the Christians and the non all over the world, that we know that Isa Islam brought the Injil, the Gospel, Evangel. That is also mentioned in the Quran. We are not denying that. But he was also given the hikmah, the wisdom, which most of the people do not know. That Isa Islam, وَلَمَّا جَاءَ عِيسَى عِيسَى بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ قَالَ قَجِيْتُمْ بِالْحِكْمَةِ And when Isa Jesus came with clarifications, he said, without doubt, I have come to you with al-hikmah, the wisdom. So what is the wisdom? I'm going to explain, of course. But you must understand that all the prophets got the book and the hikmah, and here the by name Allah mentioned to Isa Salam, that when he came to the people, he said, I have come to you with al-hikmah, the wisdom. Of course, Injil is also there. The Torah is also there. The book is also there. Torah means the law. Injil means the good news, the gospel. But also hikmah. We Muslims should get educated ourselves and educate the non-Muslim that Isa Islam also knew the hikmah, the wisdom, which I'm going to discuss, inshallah. Now, there is a specific relevance given to Luqman al -Islam. We, who he is not mentioned as a messenger, neither a prophet, Luqman alayhi salam. So, I, 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 and with him the hikmah is used and also explained. The hikmah is used by the, this word is used, the hikmah, the wisdom with Luqman alayhi salam. And I also explained, so I'm, that's why I'm going to read those ayats first. Now, if you, Surah Luqman is a surah, 31 surah and ayah 12. It says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا لُقْمَانَ الْحِكْمَةِ أَنِشْكُرْ لِلَّهِ وَمَنْ يَشْكُرْ فَإِنَّمَا يَشْكُرُ لِنَفْسِهِ وَمَنْ كَفَرَ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَنِيٌّ حَمِيدٌ And without doubt, we gave Al-Hikmah the wisdom to Luqman al-Islam so that, that he give thanks for Allah and whosoever give thanks so surely he gives thanks for his own self. And whosoever rejects, so surely Allah is self-sufficient, praiseworthy. In this ayah, you will note that Allah said that Luqman was given, given the al-hikmah, the wisdom. And so that he should thank. Because the wisdom, if you, if you I told you in the beginning, what is wisdom? In, 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 in meanings, but in the ayahs also. So Allah said that he should give thanks and we should also give thanks if we have given the hikmah, making sure that whoever shall give thanks to Allah, he only gives to his own self. If I am thankful to God, I'm all, basically I am correcting myself. And at the same time, who rejects Allah is sufficient and praiseworthy. So in this ayah, the main point is that Allah said that al-hikmah was given to Luqman al-Islam. Hikmat is given to all the prophets. Remember this. But it is explained uh, with the Luqman Islam. <clears throat> so now I will read few ayahs that will explain the Hikmah, the wisdom. What was, was given to him? It was Hikmah, the wisdom. And now we will read the ayahs and we will understand the wisdom, what is the wisdom. And it says here in Surah Luqman 31, 13 and 17 ayah. وَإِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ وَهُوَ يَعِزُهُ يَا بُنَيَّا لَا تُرْشِكْ بِاللَّهِ إِنَّ الشِّرْكَ لَا ظُلْمٌ عَظِيمٌ And when Luqman said for his son and he sermons him, O oh my son, you do not associate with Allah, surely the association with him is definitely a great oppression. Now the hikmah begins. What is, it? what is the first point in this ayah is that you do not associate anyone with Allah. What is just and what is right? A person who's got this power of understanding this, not intelligently, but by wisdom, by wise. A person who's wise, he will understand that is true and just and correct that we should not associate anyone with Allah. Why? If you just reason out, 
how can we equate a creator who has created the universe and the galaxies and everyone? Can we equate a man who is a created being? You can understand this. And a person intelligent can understand, but the one who's got the wisdom, who is a wise person, will understand and believe and practice. He's a wise person. If you just understand this, an intelligent can comprehend this and use an argument, but if he doesn't believe and practice himself, he's associating somebody with his Allah, he's not a wise person. That is the wisdom. You must understand what is wisdom and what, who is a wise person. The wise person believes and practice. So this understanding that you should not associate with Allah, if you understand, reason out and logically, you will come to a conclusion that this is the truth and just. That we, mankind, should not associate anyone with Allah. We understand that. But the question is, do we in life believe in practice? That is the question. If we do and believe in practice, then you are a wise person and you've got the wisdom with you. You've got that criteria to judge the right. That is the wisdom with you. The second is, if you will associate, Allah said that is, uh, definitely a great oppression. You will oppress your soul if you will associate anyone with Allah. Following ayat says, Ya bunayya qimis salah wa'mur bil ma'roof wanha anil munkar wasbir ala ma sobak inna thalika min azm al umur O my son, establish the salah, the prayer and order with what is acknowledged and forbid about the disguised and be patient over what has reached you so surely that is the that is from the orders of firmness now the first point here in the this is now you're reading hikmah the wisdom you must understand this is the luqman al-islam was given the wisdom he is telling this wisdom uh, things to his son and the second is you establish the salah, the prayer. Now establishing the salah and the prayer, most of the people know what is salah and prayer. But how and what is the purpose of the salah and how to pray the salah or to establish the salah, the communication with God Almighty and mankind is a format given how and how to communicate with Allah. That is the purpose of the Salah, the prayer. How to communicate with Allah. It's through the verses, we recite the Quranic ayahs. We recite the Quranic ayahs in the Salah, the prayer. So when we recite the ayahs in the, in the Salah, the prayer, it is a communication with Allah and man. So Luqman is telling his son, you establish the Salah, the prayer. There's an, another lecture of mine all lecture what Quran says about the Salah, the prayer, it explains in detail how and what are the purpose of the Salah, what are the timings of the Salah, the prayer, and what and how do you communicate. So I'm just, just making a point that this is a wisdom. A person who is a wise person, not intelligent, a wise person will establish the Salah, the prayer. Not intelligent person. He may understand it, it takes us, it makes sense, it's right, it's good, but he may not practice. That's wise person or intelligent. But the wise person will make sure that he establishes the salah, the prayer. Second is, wa'mur bil ma'roof. Order what is acknowledged. You know, see, the Quran is ma'roof. Whenever we say about the Quran, it is acknowledged. If you quote the ayahs to any man of the world, whether he believes, whether he does not believe, he's a Muslim or a non Muslim, believe me, in my lifetime, I have spoken to almost, except who are in Pakistan and some people come from abroad, I have met these people and if I quote the ayah, the translation, the essence of the ayah, they all agree. They do not say this is wrong. They say it makes sense. Intelligent, they have grasped. Intelligent, they grasp the truth. But they may not practice. So the Quran is an acknowledged ma'roof. It is acknowledged, known, the truth. Because Quran, whole book is truth, 100% coming from Allah. 
So if you present an ayah to any human being and ask him to analyze, he will say this is the truth. Believe me. You don't have to convince people to believe in the Quran. Believe me. It is the other way around. They look at the ayahs, they understand the ayahs, they may not practice it because they are not wise. They don't have the hikmah, the wisdom with them. They understand intelligently, they make sense to them. Because all the Bible, the Jewish Bible, the Bhagavad Gita, and Avesta, and all the books of the world have got not mistakes, blunders. They can find faults in every book of the world. Except the Quran, because it's the book of the Creator. And the moment you listen to the verse, they say it makes sense, they, they are quiet. They can't argue on the ayat, the verses of the Quran. Because of the fact that this is the truth coming from Allah. And it is just truth, 100%. But the question is intelligent, the wisdom, the wise. The wise person will understand and believe and practice and he will change the courses of his life. But the one intelligent person may understand it, may quote to others, but not practice it. Not believe in it. That's the difference. So now about the salah and the prayer and, and what is acknowledged, the Quran is an acknowledged thing. And what they do is one ha anil munkar and forbid about the disguise. Meaning which is disguised, they do not talk about it. Munkar means disguised. Look, there are, you know, in the form of people, people have, you know, <laughs> If, like for example, I'm wearing a suit, right? And you, people do not expect a religious person to be like that. So people who have got this image of a religion, in all the religions of the world, there is not the Christians and the Jews and the Hud, all the scholars of any religious cultural, they will make one pattern of dress. You will see in the world, like Christian scholars, the Jewish scholars, the Hindu scholars, the so-called liberal Muslim scholars, all these guys, they have to have a specific dress to tell you that I am a scholar. Believe in me. You don't have to. You have to be a common man. The essence of the knowledge of the Quran does not require a, a format that you look like a, like a Muslim. 